Okay, so now let's go to our discussion about the median of ungroup and group data. Okay, so we will first tackle the ungroup data. Okay. So the median of this one. So the very first thing to do is to arrange the data in ascending so just like what we did in um, getting the frequency distribution table so ascending or descending order okay so the median so we have here the median of a certain data will uh, data will depends on how many data or the total number of data that are given so if the median is the um, x of n plus 1 sub n plus 1 over 2 if it is um, add so if n is so let's just have this one as is add if n is even so that will be one half of x sub n plus one uh, x uh, it's just this one uh, x n over two then plus x n over 2 plus 1 so if n here is even so this is how we are going to get the median of an ungrouped data so for example we have this one so let's just first have as a a add no add number of data so we have 7, 8, 4, 6, 3, 2, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 9, 12, and 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so we have our n is equal to 9, so that is add. So first we will arrange this one from we have here ascending order. So first we will have the lowest no lowest data so we have two three then we have four so two three four then we have i believe this is 15 15 so this is six then we have seven then we have eight then nine then twelve then fifteen Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so if this is add, so we'll just apply this one x, x n plus 1 over 2. So x n plus 1 over 2. So our n is 9. So we have x 9 plus 1 over 2. So we have x 10 over 2. So we have x 5 or the fifth data so I meaning this is the fifth data so either from the bottom or from the top so we just have the bottom one two three four five so this will be our median so our median is seven okay now for add okay so add for example we have the number so it's just have this one arranged already from highest to lowest so 20, uh, from uh, highest to lowest 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15 we have 4, 13, 12, 11 so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 okay so it is already arranged from highest to lowest so if you are going to apply the x n over 2 so 
our x n over 2 x n over 2 so we have x 10 over 2 this will be x fifth we have x n over 2 plus 1 maybe that is 2 plus 1 so we have x 10 so x 10 so this is 2 plus 1 so this is 10 over 3 so 10 over 3 that is I believe so we have 2 divide uh, that is 10 divided by 3 so we have 10 Let's just move our oh, calculator here. We have 10 divided by 3. That is 3.33. Okay. Okay, so this is not 2 plus 1, but 2 plus 1. Okay, so let's just have the wrong formula here okay so this is uh, 2 plus 1 okay so that is 10 over 2 plus 1 so that is x to the 6 okay so our median is one half of x 5 or the fifth value of x plus the sixth value of x so which is 1 2 3 4 5 this is 16 then 1 2 3 4 5 6 plus 15 which is equal to 16.5 that will be now our median now there is a special case what if the, the given is add but there is the 16 here is repeated in this part or maybe the, there are three fifteens over here so what we should do so which have that one in an example okay so we have 21 20 so we just arrange it already 19 18 17 you have three 17s 16 15 and 14 okay so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So our n is equal to 10. Now if we are going to base on this one, so 10, so our median will be between the 5th data and the 6th data, either from bottom to top. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this will be our 5th data. This will be our x5. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this will be our x6. And you could say our median is um 17 but it is not correct so the the way to do this one is first to count the fifth one two three four five so everything is here is five is five and our sixth one two three four five one two three four five six so this will be our x six then we could say now that our median is 16.5 but again that is not the case because we are our x fifth or our fifth x is 317 so meaning we are get, we are getting two-thirds of this value or two-thirds of 17 so to get our median so first we get the the number between 17 and 16 our x5 and x6 so that will be 16.5 plus 2 third this 2 third represents this 3 so why 2 third because we have we have 2 of this one nearer to 16 so 2 of 3 which is nearer to 16 so our fifth is this one, this 17. Our six is 16. Then we have two in between, so that is two third, which is near to 16. And we have 16.5 plus that will be 
uh, I believe that it is 0.67. So our answer now is 17.2, and that will be our median. So this is only applicable if you have data that are repeated, or they have data that are the data the data is add. Uh, the data is uh, even, sorry for that, the, the, the data is even, and in the, during the, the median, the one of the median or one of the data which to be considered as part of the median is repeated many times. So for example, if it is repeated three times, you must count how many which, are, which is nearer to this point. And that is how you will get the median. Okay, so that will be all for the median of ungrouped data. So, next video we'll be talking about the median for group data. So, thank you for watching and as always, keep on studying.